this is my little project at the moment, preparing this wall. As you can see, there's a few tools on the ground. Basically, we're turning this room into a little TV room and we're gonna put some jerseys on the wall. A few jerseys, got this first Warriors jersey. It's Parramatta in 2014. Debut jersey against the Broncos. 2011, that is jumper dedicated to Johnny Manor. RIP Johnny, one of the greats. Over here is some grand final memorabilia. So next step is to sand, sand this down and then reapply the top coat. Not much of a builder, to be honest. Had to ask a lot of my building friends what I need to do. What are you doing? Going through some old photos, hey? Some old articles here as well. Oh, what have we got here? My favorites, actually. Last year, we beat Penrith in the finals. Moisa and me. We try and keep a few of them to Show the kids when they get older. Show you when you get older. So I'll keep you guys posted on the wall, but I'm really excited about how it's gonna turn out. This room is, it really excites me. It's gonna be an awesome room once it's done. product turned out all right so guys as you can see I've been doing a few renovations at home it is Sunday after our game we played Parramatta last night and we had a good win so this morning we've had recovery hanging out with the family went for a coffee got some breakfast and I've been painting at home, doing a bit of stuff around the house. We have the short turnaround this week, so we play Canberra on Thursday night. And what usually happens with a recovery, so we've only got a five day turnaround, so we play Thursday night, it's pretty short. And usually a lot of teams will get two days off after the game, or off running, off feet to recover from the game. You know, we usually get two or three a year, and tomorrow we're straight back into it, so we have a full day of training on the public holiday, which is gonna be good, looking forward to that. But this afternoon, I'm heading to Sutherland to help out with the guys at One Meal. Now, One Meal is a charity, not-for-profit organization ran by volunteers who offer a meal service on a weekly basis. And this afternoon I'm heading to the league club just to pick up some uh, blankets and things like that to give to the people down there. So something I really enjoy. Looking forward to heading down there this afternoon and spending some time with everyone. So let's go. Just down at Sharks League Club, just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who donated to the One Meal cause. We've got a heap of sleeping bags and a heap of blankets. We're going to take them down to, and give them out to people now, so let's go. Basically we're just a food service for anyone in need. We, we target homeless people because they're the neediest, but anyone that's just struggling to get by, we'll have probably eight volunteers show up. They all spend their Sunday after lunchtime cooking a dish, bring it along, serve it up. Occasionally we do blanket drives, do some clothing, toiletry, stuff like that as well. A sleeping bag, sweetheart? So I became involved with One Meal, it was actually at um, Christmas time, last Christmas, so I was sitting at home, it was my first Christmas with my daughter and my wife and um, I was just thinking about how grateful I was to be in the position I was in, um, you know, healthy family 
and I really wanted to reach out and do a bit more charity work this year and I got in contact with One Meal on uh, Facebook. I direct messaged them and just said, um, hey guys, I'd love to get involved. Um, I've come down a few times now and I really enjoy it. You can't be wearing that around here, I'm telling you. Oi, you're New South Wales, because I'm Queensland. We're New South Wales around here. No, no, I'm not. Yeah, I'm take it off. Yeah, take okay. it off, all right. <laughs> yeah, so one lady, uh, you know, she's wearing a maroon stomp around. I said, you can't wear that around here. Um, but yeah, another one of the guys, Tim, he's a big Manly fan and um, he, he loves his footy. And um, we could sit here and, and seriously talk footy for an hour. It really does bring us together. And, and this game of rugby league, you know, it does wonderful things and um, just goes to show, you know, how it can bring people from every background, doesn't matter who you are, you know, together. You any chance at Origin? I don't know, mate. I'll I'll love to watch play it one day. It helps out because on weekends it gets you out of the house for an hour or two. Mostly people are on the dole or the pension, so it gets them out of the house, gives them some free food. They can all come and have a little chat and catch up. They had a good win last night, yeah. didn't they? They did. Yeah. Well, don't forget they only had 12 grade, a lot of injuries for Cowboys. Yeah. But hey, two points yeah. is two points. The food's good. I like it. It's better than the stuff that I get at home because I'm, I'm not a good cook. So sometimes I go, mm, Sunday, get a decent food and then whatever's left over you take. Eh? Yeah. I think it's a great way to give back to the community yeah, and, no. and this community in the Sutherland Shire. It's you know, one where I grew up in and one that I'm super proud to be a part of. Uh, you know, I grew up just down the road and to see these people and um, come and have a chat, I think it's a great way for me to, to give back to a community who's given me so much. So, before I go, go to Sharky. Yeah, nice, Matthew. Nice, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs>